sorry to tell you, the mountain path is off limits. Godot's orders. We can't go near the meteorite right now. Wait, I remember, wasn't there another path along the shore? Well, now that you mention it, there is another route along the shore that the surfers use. There's a path that appears when the tide's low. You can't use it right now, though. What are you running from? Watch it. Don't go that way. <laughs> They were all that easy. but you cannot go through orders from Godot.
perfect day to ride some waves. Things that shouldn't exist, right? Guys, did you see a medical kit lying around anywhere? I thought I'd left one in Nora House, but I can't seem to find it. I'm guessing someone had a use for it during that ruckus yesterday. Pulse is a dangerous place, and I don't have the supplies to deal with serious injuries. If you find the kit, can you bring it to me? Thank you. My other kits are practically empty, and we still have people to treat. I put in an order for supplies, but deliveries take forever to arrive. I'm counting on you. Hey there, Sarah. Sorry, but I'm not letting anyone near that meteorite just yet. All right, then. Hey, Godot. What do you think those artifact things are? You know, the keys Noel was talking about. How should I know? Even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. So, you do know something? No, I got no idea. You're not actually swallowing any of that crap, are you? I have to give him a chance, at least. How's it going? So, I broke up a lot. That's like liver, right? Sarah, who's your friend? Someone from a faraway place. No, is there anything you want to ask? Tell me more about this town. We, uh, used to live in a place called Bodum. That's where we created Nora. But we had to find another place to live after that incident three years back. We left Cocoon and created this town. Wow. So that big guy's in charge, huh? He's strong like an ox. He's no leader. Here in town, LeBro's actually in command. She is the head of Nora, after all. At least, for now. <laughs> Don't listen to him. Godot and LeBro have important roles, but... Without Huge, we'd never agree on anything. And who knows what we'd do without Mackie's gadgets. So the four of them together make the perfect leader. But what about Sarah? What's her role? Huh. She's a grade school teacher. A really strict one, too. <laughs> He's teasing again. You know, Mackie's been acting kind of shifty lately. Certainly is faster than he looks. What are you mumbling about? Huh? What? Uh, I wasn't. Don't creep up on me like that. I 
I need town for a few days, and this is what I can When I was on Platoon, I did nothing but watch big shows. You know, I was thinking, if Noel here really is from the future, he must be pretty curious about this time period. That's true. We should probably explain a few things. I'm all ears. We were all born and raised on Cocoon, but three years ago, our home basically fell out of the sky. We couldn't rely on the Broken Foul Sea anymore. So, most of us made the decision to move to Pulse. Weren't there millions of people living on Cocoon? It must have been pretty cramped. Well, it was. But on Pulse, we had to deal with new hardships, like vicious monsters and a lack of provisions. Sounds like a rough time. Yeah. But eventually, things settled down, and some former military types helped get things organized. Now there's a growing town at the base of Cocoon's Pillar. The guys who used to be in charge are long gone. How did you end up in this place, then? Our leader, Snow, suggested we live somewhere near the ocean. We used to live in a seaside town on Cocoon, so it was like we were rebuilding our home. Snow and the rest of us were used to fighting monsters and getting our hands dirty. So we pretty much settled back into our old way of life. Snow's not around right now, so we do the best we can. But if Lightning were back, everything would be so much better. So for everyone here, your sister being gone is the reality. Did you find that medical kit? No one seems to know anything about it. I just want to relax on the couch. Hey, has anyone seen my boots? about Cocoon disappearing. I wasn't in town. There was nothing I could have done. <laughs> Your kitty's all sleek and brushed today. I leave town for a few days, and this is what I come back to? The sentry bots are really useless. A visitor of yours? I just remembered something. I saw a huge cuddling the Nora house kitty this morning. I can 
really use a coffee break once I finish my rounds. Tell you though, he was the one who created Nor. Have you been up to, young man? Why don't you talk to Miss Farron, hmm? Uh, you're kind of scaring me. Uh, I think you just completely creeped him out. You want to tell me what's going on? If you do, I'll buy you LeBro's special lunch every day for a year. A whole year? <laughs> Not sure about your style of discipline, Miss Farron. Listen up, mister, and you listen good. Start talking or your homework gets tripled. No! Please! Please! Anything but that! Not exactly making friends, are we? Why did you run away? I promise I won't get mad if you tell me. I know you say you won't get mad at me, but I can't tell you. I don't want to get yelled at. The kid was trying to get away from Mackie. I bet you anything he was up to no good. You were running from Mackie, weren't you? Did you do something you weren't supposed to? I was watching him work on the robots, and then I saw it, and I just couldn't help myself. This ought to be good. And then what happened? I 
hope you're not misbehaving. It makes me sad when my students don't behave. I'm sorry, Miss Farron. Guess I'll own up. The truth is, I sold something from Mackie. And that's why he was chasing you? What did you take? This necklace. It belongs to you, doesn't it? Hey, wait! What was he doing with this anyway? That belongs to Mackie, doesn't it? No, it's mine. It's a reminder of a promise a good friend made me. Sarah, I believe you. Your sister's alive. She's out there somewhere. Thank you, Snow. Here, you hang on to this for a while. When I come back, it'll be with lightning. Then there's no way she can say no to us getting married. Okay. Okay. And that was the last time I saw snow. The memories I had of lightning standing on the plain beneath Cocoon. He was the only one who believed. Believed them enough to do something. And doing nothing, right? Lightning and snow are long gone, but you still sit here and wait. Why didn't you go after them? No, he is a hero after all. And has that faith been enough? Neither of you want to be apart, yet here you are alone. Don't you think I know that? <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. But you tell me, what good is a hero if he's never around? Touch mug. It's not his fault. Come on, let's head back. <sighs> no artifact yet, huh? No, instead, my things are showing up in places they shouldn't be. I wonder if someone's trying to mess with us. I doubt it. No one here would do something like that. Hmm. I guess not. Unless they think they're doing the right thing. It might not be a person at all. I mean, with time and space being warped everywhere, anything could happen, really. Right. And that's how your things ended up out here? It's not a bad theory. Okay. So maybe we should ask if anyone else is missing stuff. Let's head to the house and find out.
tell about it, future boy. Do you want a quick history lesson? I know people have changed since we came down the pulse, but some folks have even learned. That mirror, it was never there before. Hey, check it out. Wait. Okay, what is that? that happen? It's... a twist in time. Something that doesn't belong. Yeah. I think this is an artifact. We found an artifact. Just as Noel said we would. Does this mean everything else he said is true? Did he really meet lightning in Valhalla? Maybe. Once I step through the gate, I'll be leaving my friends... My students and the village for who knows how long. Can you tell me, Lightning? Do I dare believe this man? Okay. Now we just have to head for the gate. I don't get it. What was that artifact doing in the mirror? Well, the mirror must have belonged to someone else in the past. Or... I'm going to take this artifact and open that gate. But you still don't trust me, do you? I can see it in your eyes. If there's anything you're wondering about or don't believe, just ask, and I'll try to explain. Well, there is one thing. What is it you want, exactly? A future that has people in it. I lived at the end of days. I was the very last child to be born. As I grew up, everyone I knew died, one by one, until eventually it was just me. All their dreams fell on my shoulders. I was their last hope. It was too much, so I left. Sure, maybe I couldn't go home again. Maybe I couldn't make everyone happy. But at the very least, I could rebuild a future where everyone could survive. So I went through the gate. I wasn't thinking very clearly then. I had a dream, but I didn't think it all out. I didn't know what it really meant. But once I got here and saw how you and your friends live in this village, I knew my dream could come true. In Valhalla, your sister gave me a chance. She gave me hope. The future can be changed. That's what she told me, and I believe her. I understand. Thank you, Noel. Thank you for telling me that. You want to take a moment to say goodbye before we leave? Thanks. I think I'm okay. The gate is where the meteorite fell. So we should head towards Cocoon, right? You know, it must be strange to have it there always watching the rain. bad. There's still monsters around. 
Keep a lookout. I will. And you be careful too, Noel. Feel bad. From sunrise to sunset, it's a hard job. Because I just want to forget what happened. <laughs> I'm glad we found a lot of that. The only weird thing going on here. You mean like your friends and the way they act? Understandable, huh? Right? Guess it's not every day. Take you to I could have handled that alone. We're on a mission to protect the town. Today's peaceful.
don't feel bad. You know, the security bots can do our job. <laughs> Bring on the arrows and ammo! I've been using this kit since I lived on Cocoon. Couldn't believe I'd lost it. It's funny how you get attached to these things. I'm sorry it's not much of a reward, but here. 
Ever seen a rock like this? I found it just over there. Do me a favor and try not to get yourselves hurt. I've got enough patience already. There aren't many people who like to play nurse around here. Are you sure you're ready? You know, once we go through, there might be no coming back. Yes, I'm ready to go. It's not a dream or a lie. I know my sister is alive out there. I'm sorry I doubted you. Of all people, I should know how bad it can make you feel when no one believes what you say. Snow put all his trust in me. Now it's my turn to do the same for you. I've made up my mind. You and I. We go together. I won't let you down. We'll find Valhalla, I promise. <sighs> so, you're not gonna say goodbye? There's no need. We already have, sort of. Do that. Quiet. Lightning's knife. It's been sharpened and cleaned. Well, you did hey, that. Hey, oh. shut up. Look, my pendant has a brand new chain. Mm. <laughs> Shh. I'm okay. And Snow was purring like a kitten. <laughs> Someone gave him a good brushing. <laughs> quiet. Oh, oh. Hey. <laughs> Why don't you guys go fess up? Uh, what? Go on. Uh, uh, you too. Hey, Sarah. Uh, I figured no way you're leaving the pendant behind. So I made a chain, you know, so you wouldn't lose it. If Lightning is alive out there, wouldn't want her getting mad over a poorly maintained <laughs> weapon. You know her. <laughs> if you leave, someone's got to pick up the slack looking after Snow. So I volunteered myself. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's time for me to go. I don't know what's waiting out there, in the future, between worlds, but I want to see lightning so much. If there's any chance, any chance at all, I want to take it. You can go, but you have to come back in one piece. Promise? I promise. If I believe, maybe a miracle will happen. The future won't change until you make the first step. You know what you're doing, right? Well, I can't say that I do. This is the first time I've opened a gate myself. Guess we'll just have to find out. Hey! What about Sarah? I'll protect her. I promise you, I vow never to let her come to harm. 
Fidel. But now trust me. For Sarah's sake. So, looks like the future starts now. I'll be back. Sarah, you set out on your journey for my sake. You believed in a promise. You believed in a future you could not see. I will keep fighting here, at the end of the world. I know you will come. I believe in you. Sarah. It's the Historia Crux. The crossroads of the time continuum. So this is how you were able to travel backwards from the future? Right. Just floated through this nowhere space. And now it's your turn. <laughs>